Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the Ubrit Workshop. This is the Festal C18 cordless drill driver. Now, I've had more requests to make a video about this particular drill driver than any other that I've ever had. So, here we go. Now, I'm very grateful to Festal UK uh, for lending this machine to me so I can make a couple of videos of, over the coming weeks. This is the set version, and that comes in a SIS2 sustainer, which is at the back here. And it consists of the following items. The drill driver itself, and that comes with two Airstream batteries, both 5.2 ampere hour lithium iron. It comes with the new Airstream charger. On the drill is a Centratec uh, tool chuck and in that is a Centratec bit holder. There's also a 13 millimeter Jacobs chuck, an angle attachment and also the offset or eccentric attachment. And there's a belt clip that can be screwed on and fitted to the machine. Now the C18 has a brushless EC Tech motor. Brushless means that it takes less power, it therefore doesn't get as hot, therefore the number of vents needed to keep it cool are lower, therefore the tool doesn't get as dirty, it means it's easier to maintain and the whole thing lasts longer. It's got a fully electronic torque control and the beauty of that is that when you select up here Drilling, there's no need to adjust the torque control, which is here. When it's in the screw driving position, the torque control comes into play. And this has a range of settings from 1 to 25, which takes the torque adjustment uh, from 0.5 up to 8 newton meters. Now, the maximum torque uh, on this machine for uh, drilling wood is 27 newton meters, and for steel, it's 45 newton meters. The on off trigger is here and it's progressive as you can hear the forward and reverse control is here just above the on off trigger there is a work light that shines up towards where you're working there's a magnetic tool keep area here so you can put various bits in there now the machine with a set version is supplied with two 5.2 ampere hour lithium iron Airstream batteries and these are 18 volts. Now this is the standard battery connector for this style of battery that Festool produce. So here I have a 15 volt battery uh, which is at least six years old. I'll put it on there and as you can see the machine works perfectly well. And the machine will also work uh, with the new uh, Bluetooth batteries. You can hear my extractor started up and has now switched off again as the drill is no longer operating. Now, as I said earlier, the machine is supplied with the new Airstream charger. Inside here is a fan. And when you connect the battery, there are vents in the battery and the fan drives air through the battery to cool the battery as it's being charged. This is much safer and it allows for more rapid charging and for example a 5.2 airstream a battery like this one uh, will charge in about 33 minutes on this charger now this charger can take all of the festal legacy batteries which have this type of connector and that includes the bp bps and bpc range of batteries well now it's time to put this drill driver through its paces let's start uh, with something simple i'm going to have this in the screwdriving position, uh, speed setting one, and I'm going to move the torque down to uh, 10 on the dial, which is at the bottom here. And uh, I've got my block of tulip wood. I've got a screw which actually has started off already. And did you hear the electronic torque control uh, cutting in there? And it said, right, well, that's as far as you go for this torque setting. Well, I'll adjust the torque setting. It's on 10. I'll put it up to uh, about 20. There we go. And that's the, that screw the rest of the way in. And I should, of course, be able to do another one with no problem at all. There it goes. That's going into a block of MDF, which is at the bottom. I'm going to take out the 
bit holder and I'm going to put in a 12 millimeter brad point bit and this time I'm going into the drilling position now there's no need for me to adjust the torque setting here at all uh, that is now out of the equation because I've gone to the drilling position I can adjust the speed and I'll put it up to speed 2 <laughs> I'll do it again and that leaves a most beautifully clean hole and this is a 35 millimeter Forstner and I'm going to put this on speed one And there we go. I'll now remove that. I'll put the uh, bit holder back in and that's still on position while I'm putting it in the screwdriver position. I'm just going to take out these two screws. And now uh, we look at this block and there are my holes which have gone all the way through. Right, I'm putting a Torx bit in there. I've got this long uh, Torx headed screw here. It's a six mil screw and I'm going to put this in the screwdriver position I'm going to whack the torque up to 25 and I'm on speed one I've stopped there because I think I'm almost through the piece of MDF and there was no pilot hole there at the beginning at all now be careful when you do this at home, demonstrating it to friends, because when you screw these longer screws in uh, and then take them out again, they can get quite warm. Well, that was a little bit tame, really. Let's try something just a little bit more exciting. And I've got this piece of oak here. Um, I've used it as target for drilling practice before, so it's got one or two holes in it already. Uh, what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to put uh, this 12 millimeter brad point bit back in again and I'm going to put this in speed 2 and it's in the drilling position. Absolutely effortless. I'm now going to put the Jacobs chuck on. I've got here a six mil drill. Now I do want to protect my MFT top, not that it looks as though I've been doing that sort of thing for a while. So I've just put my block of wood underneath there and I'm going to just make a pilot hole here. That's all the way through and I'm going to put the Centrotech uh, tool chuck back on and the Centrotech bit holder. This time I'm going to put a socket on the end. I'm now in the screwing position, speed one, and I've got the torque setting on maximum and I've got uh, this uh, coach bolt which is going to go in there. That's probably about an eight millimeter coach bolt. And that, that torque control switched off at that point. For the smooth shafted part at the top here, there's no clearance been allowed at the top of the hole. So that's hardly a surprise. Be careful, it might be hot. I'm putting on a slightly smaller socket now. And I've got some smaller bolts here. No pilot hole this time. Uh, still speed uh, setting 1, I'm in the screw position and I'm on torque setting 25. No pilot hole. And that was with no pilot hole. And you could see the smoke uh, coming, or the steam rather, coming off that uh, because that got quite warm as it went through that, uh, that piece of oak. Now the angle attachment is very easy to fit. Uh, it's got a number of little studs here which allows it to be fitted in 
I think it's up to 16, it might be 24, I'm not sure, uh, positions, uh, depending uh, what your application is. So I'm going to put it on so it's like so. And then you just tighten this little ring here, and that's now in position. Now, I don't know if you remember this uh, little uh, block which I use for demonstration with the CXS and TXS. There's a screw in there which I put in with the angle attachment for that little machine. Uh, well, I'm going to take that screw out now uh, with this angle attachment. Now, I could, of course, put any of the fast fix ended uh, tools on here, the Centrotech uh, tool chuck, or even the, the, the Jacobs chuck. In order to save room, because it's shallow, I'm just putting the bit straight into the end of the angle attachment. And I'm in the screwdriver position, speed one, and I'm going to have that going in reverse. And I hope you can see. And there's that screw out. And that space there is 98 millimeters. Uh, and that screw length is 30, 30 millimeters. Now, if you're fitting cabinets and you want to reach right in and put a screw in between two cabinets, well, this uh, angle attachment is going to be very useful indeed. I've now fitted the eccentric attachment, and basically what that does, it takes the center line of the tool to a position where you can get pretty close to a, a wall or a surface. And I'm going to demonstrate that uh, with my little model here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put two holes in, I'm going to countersink them, and then I'm going to fix my piece of plywood just here. I'm going to start by taking a four millimeter brad point a bit. Now, although that center tech ended, uh, the uh, receiver on the end of the eccentric attachment is not center tech, it's just straight hex. And it's got a spring loaded section here, and you can push the tool down in, and that holds it in place. And now I'm going to use it here. Now, to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to turn this round. So I'm in the drilling position, uh, I'm in speed two, and I'm going to drill two holes. One, and the second one, just there. And you see how easy it is, and if I turn that round a little bit more, you can see I'm about nine or ten millimetres off this bottom surface here. I'm just going to change the bit now, pull down on this spring-loaded section, remove that, and I'm going to put a countersink. And I'm now changing to a, a normal posi drive bit, which fits in like so. I'm now in speed one and in the uh, inserting screw position. And I've got a pair of screws here, one in there. And I'm now going to position my piece of wood where it needs to be, just here. And away I go. That's that side. And that's that side. That distance to the center of the screws is about nine millimeters. So if you're, again, wanting to get into awkward places, and again, if you're a kitchen fitter, uh, shop fitter, trying to get into an awkward place, then this is going to be very useful indeed. So that's my brief introduction to the Festival C18 cordless drill driver. Now, it's really important, because this shape is so different from anything that you may have tried before, that you go to your dealer, go to a show, uh, and try one for yourself and then you can get a feel for it. Now, it's quite similar in concept to the CXS. However, it weighs twice as much. Uh, now, you can get a 3.1 ampere hour battery for this, making the whole package a little bit lighter if you're gonna be using a tool all day, particularly if you're using it above your head. But try it and see what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, bye-bye. <music>